Hello everyone. Today I want to show you something, the manual co coffee grinder. This is my first uh, manual coffee grinder. I think I have it like almost a year, I believe. Now this is a very nice uh, coffee grinder. Uh, I got from AliExpress. Uh, this costs around like, how much was it? Uh, 90 real. This is a very nice uh, cough grinder, so I want to show you something. This is have enough space to put it inside. Like you can put like uh, 40 grams, like uh, like this size. Let's see, it says 10 grams. If you can see this one. Yeah, it says 10 grams. So that way you can put like a uh, maximum 40. Now this is a very good uh, uh, coffee spoon. Uh, this brand is co uh, come from, uh, Bodem, if I can pronounce it right. Now I'm going to uh, remove the parts, what uh, you're going to see it like this space and this is a adjustment uh, grinder size so that way you can uh, use what size you're going to use like I cut uh, espresso the second one and the glass uh, jar uh, uh, this uh, burn grinder this is not a metal or plastic uh, this is a stone so I'm going to remove it in order to remove it this you need to remove uh, the nut uh, this uh, screwdriver the size of it the nut is a uh, 10 uh, millimeter of course you need to put uh, the handle so that way you can remove it inside the part of it there are three washers so don't lose this washer I almost dropped it. So be careful, do not lose uh, the small washers inside the grinder. Now this is a burr grinder. This is a stone uh, burr, burr grinder. This is pretty good. I'm just gonna make it short to clear this. Yeah, get it closer. I can't take out the washer. Okay. Now to put it back, you put the three washer inside it. Just be careful to put it inside. Make sure you lock it. Now tighten it a little bit. And then that's it. Then you put back in, in order.
Now, what I have a problem is, is the handle. Now, before, when I ordered this one, it wasn't like very sounding. And also the, the handle, yeah, it's kind of small. Sometimes you have to stomp it down because uh, of this one, this uh, rubber. So that way it doesn't move around. So that way you can uh, just like, like this. So whatever you do, don't grab the uh, harder, the handle. Sometimes it's, sometimes not moving properly, not very loose. You just need to lose your, your hand grip. Now the problem is, this is kind of a little bit small, the, uh, the handle. Well, not the biggest complaint, but it's kind of good. Now I'm going to show you the other uh, hand grinder, what I have uh, to, uh, today. This is one, one uh, Z Presso. Yeah, one Z Presso. This is a very, very good uh, uh, package. Uh, this is, I got uh, AliExpress. This is my second order. Now I'm gonna show you. This is a uh, Espresso uh, uh, Grinder uh, K Plus. There is another uh, brand, it's called uh, K Pro. Now I'm gonna show you, well before I go, uh, let me show you the package, what's inside. Now this is the package I used to have like this. It was ordered like this. And also what I have is a uh, air blower for this package it's already I already unboxed it and this is a coffee brush and what else I have this is like a rubber grip to use it like this so you can hold this grip and you so it won't slip This is the extraction, I, uh, this one. You, know, you use uh, espresso, uh, Turkish, coffee dripping or mocha. Pour over, French press. The numbers you see in this, this is the uh, adjustment uh, grinder size. Like this number. It's very easy and I kinda like it. This clicking sound. Sounds very good. And there is something else, some accessory I have. Uh, this is uh, like, uh, how should I say this? A uh, coffee drop. Depending, you're using like espresso machine you put inside uh, like uh, any espresso machine, you put it, you drop it. It's called a uh, coffee powder, uh, powder. That's what they call it. Now, let's see what else I have. Yeah, that's everything. There is one more paper I have. This is some, just only uh, gui a guidance. Now I'm going to remove the part of uh, 1C Special Grinder uh, K Plus. Now 
This is half matinee. It's very, very cool. It's, it looks just like the Kino grinder. The Kino grinder is also have a magnetic. So this is what it look like when you uh, to make the coffee grinder ready. I really like the handle really. This is look exactly like uh, Commandante. Very smooth, really. <laughs> like a fidget spinner. Let me show you the first one. It doesn't, uh, not like the onesie espresso. Of course, when you put the coffee beans, sometimes it's stuck because this grinder is, this handle line is kind of short. Let me show you the comparison. Yeah, you see the different the, the size like this is shorter, this is taller. Now I'm gonna remove it. Of course, you can remove the the handle. What's very cool is you can remove the part of it. You can customize it. You can make it a, a shorter. I think this is 20 grams, this one. You can put uh, the ground coffee. When you combine it, this is supposed to be like maximum like 40 gram. Now, how to remove the... You just twist it. It will move easy because the magnetic uh, positive and negative. Man, this is so cool. I'm really loving this gr uh, grinder. This is going to be my favorite one. Now, don't get me wrong. This There are a lot of grinders around here, like Combo Dante and Kino. And there is another coffee grinder. It's, so, it's called uh, Polo uh, Grinder. Of course, you need to clean it with a coffee brush. Any anyone like you remove it out, all this. Do whatever you do. Do not rinse with water. It will it will not. Uh, otherwise, it will not work anymore. So you what you can do now? Just use uh, air blow air blower and a coffee brush. Now I'm going to remove this part so you can see it. In order to do that, you just need to uh, remove it. Let me adjust the size of it. Now, you see this? You press the burr grinder down and lose it this screw. Just make sure uh, 
don't get confused. This one will be the bottom and this one's will be in the top. Now this one is a, I think this is look like a, like a fidget spinner, this, the ring one. Yeah, you just take out, uh, mm, yep, looks good. Now, there are other parts, you gotta remove it. This one, the, this one, you can also need to remove it, include also this one. Actually, you don't need to remove uh, the whole thing. You just need to blow it like this and... And then, or you can use uh, a coffee grinder brush. Well, anyway, I'm gonna remove it so you can see what's inside. You had to turn the clockwise like this. Then you need to Turn like this. Yeah, so you can make it more deeper. So that way you don't need to get all this coffee, du uh, coffee uh, dust or whatever you call it, any ground coffee. So that way you can remove the rest of it. Now in order to put it back, you need to put back like this one. Oh wait, okay, yeah, my bad. Okay. Now make sure you're a little bit tight so don't get loose. Now everything all set. Now put back the the burr grinder. Make sure you push it in. Ring. Make sure you Sorry, let's drop. Now you see that ring there? Like uh, this is not a complete circle. You make sure the, the grinder of this one is exactly the same shape. Then after that, then lock it. Don't lock it right now. You have to make sure adjustment to zero it's already in the beginning. 
Well, not exactly. You had to go to the to zero. Then you can lock it tightly. Make sure you hear the clicking. If it's already tight, now it's tight. Now you see the uh, it's not moving the handle. Make adjustment the grind uh, uh, size of the grinder. I use seven uh, of this for pouring uh, coffee. Like example, like this extraction, like I show you to your the beginning. Anyway, that's all I can show you for now of these uh, two grinders. They're both also good. What the best one, longer and very a nice grip. So cool, really cool. This could be my favorite uh, coffee grinder for today. So I'm not going to order another grinder, but you know, this is like from, for myself and for my home. <laughs> I could do this all day, <laughs> it's kind of fun. Now this grinder, I got this one AliExpress, this is around like uh, almost 1,000 real. The other grinder is called uh, K-Pro. This is a K-Plus uh, grinder. Now the K-Pro is cost around 800 because there are two options you can select. The K-Pro, no, this is K-Plus. This one, I'm, I'm pointing this one. The K-Pro you can check on the website on, from AliExpress or any kind of website you, you can check. Or, or Amazon you can, you can find it. I don't know if they have it or not. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I can show you for now. Uh, before I leave, I want to show you a little trick of this uh, grinder when I was uh, playing around you can change it, uh, the handle of this one let me show you <laughs> it's funny when you customize like this but not exactly funny but it's a great idea <laughs> Of course, uh, this handle grinder, it cannot put uh, here. I don't know why. Maybe the size of it is a little bit big. This is a little smaller. Maybe this is because of why. Well, that's all I can show you today. This is an amazing uh, coffee grinder. I really need to stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can show you. And this is Dark Magic. I hope you like this video. And give me a thumbs up or leave some com a comment below. Thank you very much. Peace.